When you're working with collections in C-Sharp, you have several options. iCollection, iList, iEnumerable, iQueryable. Which one's the right choice? It depends on your application. Let's go through each and decide which is right for you. Now, iEnumerable is the most basic of all of them. In fact, the rest of them inherit from iEnumerable. But because of that, you don't get some of the features that the others have. For instance, you don't get things like positional operations. You can't access items by their index. And like I said, they're only forward based, so you can't go backwards. But they're great for iterating through things that are in memory already. So the for each loop, that uses the built-in get enumerator, move next, and all those functions of an I enumerable to navigate through them. Now on top of an I enumerable is the I collection. One of the benefits that I collection adds on top of I enumerable is the ability to add and remove items. I collection is great when you don't need positional things, no index related objects. So you can use dot add, dot remove, dot contains, or dot copy to. And it even adds the dot count method. So you get that additional functionality of being able to add and remove items and move around a bit, but not positionally. iList builds on iCollection, and I guess you can kind of assume where we're going with this. Yeah, it adds the ability to access items based on their index. So because iList extends iCollection, you still have the ability to add and remove, but you gain the ability to insert, which allows you to add at a certain position, or remove at, which allows you to remove at a specific position. It also adds the ability to just access items based on position. So if you had list, bracket, number, bracket, that's gonna get you the item at that position. Lastly, let's talk about iQueryable. Now this one's a little bit different. It doesn't live in the same namespace. This one lives in system.link, but it does extend the iEnumerable interface. Now you've likely seen some code where somebody's using an iEnumerable or an iQueryable when accessing, say, a database. And while you can do that, you shouldn't. iEnumerable should be kept for things that are in memory. Why? Well, because it does all of its sorting and filtering in memory. So if you send off a database request with an iEnumerable, what it's gonna do is give you all the records back and then it's gonna filter and sort inside of memory. It's not gonna send that where clause with your request to the database. Okay, so editor Michael stepping in here for a minute. I misspoke there. So when you use an I enumerable, it will transpose that filter down to a where statement and send that to the database. But what it won't transpose is any like using top two, if you're using a skip or a take, and it won't transpose any order by clauses. So those sorting options are, you know, gonna happen on the memory side where iQueryable will send them both. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. And that's the big difference between iQueryable and iEnumerable. And iQueryable is going to send the entire filtering, sorting request to the database. So your SQL that's gonna get rendered out if you were using SQL would be select whatever, where, whatever, order by, whatever. All of that happens on the database side. And of course, for large data sets, you can see where that would be beneficial. So what's the best time to use any of these? Well, if you have data that's in memory and you just need to iterate through it and really not even mutate it, iEnumerable is the best choice here. But if you do need to make some changes, adding and inserting items, then upgrade to the iCollection. And finally, if you need to access things based on their position, inserting, removing, or just getting things, that's when you want the iList. Now, all of this is kind of trumped by, hey, are you pulling from a database or external service? Then you're gonna want the iQueryable so that it can do all that processing on the other side. Now, a lot of times you'll see people using an iQueryable when they're accessing external data sources, like a database. But once they get that result back, you'll see them translate that into a list, which is more efficient to handle because it's in memory already, and just pass that around. Hopefully you've got a better understanding now of what each is for and when to use them and when not to. Until next time.